just what everybody needs, some dead poinsettias. It's so lifelike, because that's what it would be like in my house if I got the real ones. <laughs> He's home! Finally. Are you happy to be home? Yes. He's really happy to be home. He's got to take it easy for a while and take a whole bunch of pills. Yeah. Kind of like an old person. But I'm not old. No, you're not. But uh, then we have to schedule surgery for two to four weeks from now, and uh, he will be... I can't get you in the frame when you're that far up, dude. <laughs> he will be appendix free and we will never have to worry about this again. But so. And I get my dogs back. Yes. Thank you everyone for your prayers and your good wishes and your wonderful comments. And I've been uh, reading them. He has been reading them. That's so awesome. So there you go. There's the, the latest Noah update. He's home. Well, just finished a really awesome first day at the Boss Reseller Remix. I'm posting a lot of stuff over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, go head over to Instagram. I'm the niche lady. Um, but uh, what do you do after a day at a conference? Can you think of anything, Tiffany? Let's go, go thrifting! thrifting! <laughs> So there was a thrift store right around the corner, which we are at right now to go in and see what we can find. So let's go get shop done. Okay, we are at the Goodwill that I normally go to with Carrie, but Carrie is not here. So I'm going with Tiffany instead. We're gonna go find our lucky carts. This is where the carts are all the way in the middle of the store. So. Let's hope this is the lucky one. All right, had to go get a cart and come back over to the Halloween because I'm gonna do a Halloween themed live sale on Friday. And uh, I think Tiffany is gonna join me for that. I'm trying to talk her into it. That's Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas. Maybe you guys can give her a little prompt. Say yes, yes, come do the live sale with Jenny. That's quite a wrench. Alrighty then. So I'm looking for some different stuff. Now this is not Halloween, but it's it's very old. It's an Italian, um, what do you call that? I can forget what you call it, but it is really old. Now it is a bit beat up and I don't know if that can be fixed with a little gold paint. I like the fact that you could put it in a corner. Kind of a little corner trash can. Kind of a thing. It's only five bucks. I just, gosh, I don't know if I can fix it up. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my cart and think about it. I see a big pumpkin candle holder back here that I like. Let's see if I can get it out without killing anything else. Because it's big and it's bigger than all the other stuff that it's Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. Success, and it's got no price. So hopefully they'll give me a good price on it because I like it. Oh, I see a little pumpkin lamp. Look at that. That is very cute. It's got no price on it though. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna put it in the cart. You know, if you're really serious about decorating for Halloween, you need a Halloween skeleton toilet paper holder. Yes, of course you do. He's $5.99. I love him. Look at this piece. It's a trick-or-treat bowl. It's really heavy and unfortunately, it's a chalkware and it's really, really chipped up. Otherwise, I would probably pick that up. Also, losing time to sell it on the local market, even as adorable as it is, I am gonna leave that one behind. They do have some neat stuff on their little Halloween shelves. Some of the stores are pretty wiped out. This one still has some, some cute stuff, like 
I think this is not, oh gosh, that is way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I was gonna say it's like a dollar store one, but I think it's a little better than dollar store, but still one of the cheaper big box store kind of places, so. All right, I'm gonna go around to the other side now. This is kind of disturbing to see down here on this bottom shelf, like, um, there's just a bunch of, there's just a bunch of arms. Just a bunch of arms. <laughs> Only at Halloween time, I guess. Oh, and some, um, how about some uh, zombie intestines? Yeah, no, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass on that. And I will take the little, um, this is called melted popcorn plastic. And these are really, really collectible. And they are highly resellable. This one doesn't have a price, but I'm sure it'll be a good one because I'm going to get it. Okay, I see something else really creepy. It's a <laughs> it's a skeleton mirror. Oh my goodness, seven ninety nine. It's by the Ack Company or the ACK Company. I'm gonna actually look this up because it's not bad quality and uh, it's pretty unique. All right, now we're over in glass. Spotted these. They've got the. The little glass ball in there. These do not look like they're done very well. I'm trying to read what that little sticker says on the bottom. It says handcrafted in China, hand wash only. Yep, not super exciting. Ooh, what's this? It's a little, looks like the, 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 the star on Bethlehem. So it's like a nativity kind of a, a thing going. There's something quite appealing about that. Look at it. It's, I mean, it's not super high quality, but I really like this. So for $3.99, I'm going to pick it up. This is another interesting piece. It's almost like an acrylic. Oh, it's a Z Galleries. Z Galleries is really high end, but this has quite a bit of missing flecks of glitter. So we are going to leave it behind. Oh, let's see. I'm still getting used to this new camera and where the actual camera is versus my other camera. It's in a different spot, so oops. Wasn't me. <laughs> so forgive me if I tend to not get something centered in. I'm I'm still learning. I'm still learning the camera. Look at this little little chubby bird. He's $2.99. He's cute, but Nothing too exciting. Here is a piece of pottery that has a mid-century kind of look to it. I don't know how I feel about this. There's something, I don't know, just not super exciting. I'm gonna leave it. Check out this little fairy dish. It just says made in China. So we're gonna leave the fairy dish. All right, moving along. Ooh, that's interesting, but really, really worn. And then there's this wood plate. I love the grain in that. It's not even wood though, it's, it's chef forward. Is it melamine? It sure looks like wood. Boy, that fooled me, because it even feels like wood. Wow, okay. Alrighty then, I got fooled. I got pranked by the uh, plate. All right, now we're over in the wood. What you looking up over there? Oh, there's a whole shelf full of them. Yeah, but I can't find them. That means they should be in your cart. Possibly. That's Star Trek, right? Yeah, Star Trek stuff, Star Trek stuff usually does really well. I bet we got Trekkies down at the booth. That has one drawer and opens up. It's cute, but I don't know. I've, I'm not getting as high a price on those anymore as I used to, so I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna take a peek at these 
this pipe holder that actually has its jar. A lot of times this jar in the middle will be missing on these. Super vintage. It's it's De Deco Decatur Industries. It's got its sticker. It's $5.99. I'm gonna grab that. I really like this candle holder, but sadly it's a single. I'm looking around. Trust me, to look for another one. It's a Godinger. Super pretty. But it's just a single. So I am. I'm going to leave it. And kind of scope and see if I can find the other one. But I don't, I don't think it's here. Got an anchor. Little anchor wall hanging. Oh, it's really broken. Darn it. Darn it. All right, all right, it's okay. We'll find stuff. Never fear, like a witch's hat thing. But we're not gonna get that. All right, ooh, what's this? Ooh, hello there, Harley Davidson. Oh, it's a Department 56. It's $14.99, so with that price point, I will look it up. If it wasn't that price point, I would have just stuck that in my cart, but let's look it up. It sells for $40. It's Department 56 Harley Davidson Water Tower, 40 bucks. So I will pay the $14.99. Look at this cute little guy with his little fishing pole. He looks like the Barefoots um, brand, kind of, but not quite. I do like him. This is his little fishing sack. You know what? He'd make a great gift. I'm gonna pick him up for $2.99. All right, let's see what Tiffany left behind on this shelf. She's already been through here, but I know she's being extra picky today because she is getting ready to move and I just got done moving. I do like the Winnie the Pooh stuff. So they're asking $5.99 on the sugar bowl and $5.99. I don't know why that's rattling. What's it, what is that? It's uh oh, it's got like candy or something in it. Hmm. These are cute. I think I'm gonna look these up. So unfortunately, this set together only sells for $25 to $30. Um so even though at $12, it seems like there would be enough profit there, there really isn't by the time you get done processing this in, you know, the time to handle it and ship it and stuff, pay the fees. It's just not enough profit to deal with it. So we're gonna leave that for somebody else. All right, let's see. We got a wine bottle, a topper, bear, so he holds a wine bottle and they want 10 bucks for him. They sell for about 20, 25. I do pick them up when I find them at the right price, but that's too much to pay. I do like the little daisy bowl. Oh, she left me the little daisy bowl for 99 cents. I will grab that. How cute is this guy? He's $1.99. I mean, he's just, he's not much except just really cute. What do I do? Do I get him? Oh my gosh. All right, he's going in a live sale. All right, let's see. We got a, a bunny here. Wishing you happy Easter. We're a little ways away from Easter though, so we'll, we'll leave you behind. Here's one of those uh, raspberry little statues. I love you this much. He's $2.99. Some of these can sell pretty well. I'm gonna pass on that one today. This just looks like it's just been painted over a glass bottle. It's pretty, but we don't need that today either. Okay, good, she picked up all of those Star Trek guys. I was hoping she would. I like the, oh, $10. Oh, it's a Hobby Lobby piece. That had been more affordable. I would have grabbed that for myself because I liked it, but not for $10. So Tiffany just bequeathed me this plate because 
I spotted the big dinner plates and she didn't want those. So she says, well, do you want the little one that goes with it? The reason I want these is they are 222 Fifth Arabella. Um, and I just, I just really like the way they look. And I know they're plates. I know they're plates. The four dinner plates are 4 dollars 99 cents. I can definitely do something with those. All right, let's see what we got in the mugs. I'm leaving Tiffany over there in the uh, dinner plates. I don't need any more dinner plates. Oh, these are Syracuse. Little restaurant wear cups. They're a dollar each, basically, because the set of two is $1.99. Do I want those? I kind of do. All right, I'm gonna get both sets of those for $1.99 each. I just, I, there's more. There's a whole bunch of these. Let me see how many I end up with. Okay, I ended up with two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. I'm gonna get all 11 of them, basically for a dollar each. Wait, now it's it not is. 11. <laughs> No, it's Oof. no. We're, we'll keep it. 11. It's 13 now. We're gonna yeah. st still stick with the uneven number. Oh my goodness, that's okay. They're cute. They're really cute. We can do something with those. I bet we find another one. I bet there's another one. Oh, jeez. They just keep <laughs> showing up. In twos. So now we got 15. Oh no, I see. Is that one? Is that one back there? Yep. Ah. Are we even now? Now we're at 16. Who needs 16? We're at 16 now. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. Even if I find another one, I'm not getting it. I have. <laughs> I just, I know. I Hopefully I don't find another friend that I'm leaving behind to be lonely. I found the queen. Oh, she found the queen. Oh, what do we got down here? There's a lot of this green, like, it reminds me of the Portugal stuff, but I don't, I don't think it is. This is a lower quality. Very, very, very crazed. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, but it's highly, highly crazed. Some things you can get away with crazing and some things it really, really detracts the value. I'm over here creeping in on your video because, uh, these are Franciscan. <laughs> I forget the name of this pattern. Look at, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of these little ivy cups. What is my story tonight? I want to get those too. Okay, I just found this little set here. They are, whoops, let me find the one that had the sticker. There it is. They are made in Japan. Probably like Otagiri, but they're Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. She found me. She found me another piece of, that means there's probably more of that there's around here. There's probably a sugar somewhere. Yeah, so we're gonna grab that too. How much was that? $72. Oh, deal, $1.99. All right. Yes, those are good glasses. Libby? Are they, yeah, they could be Libby. Darn it, there's only three though. Why do they do that to us? I don't know, because they break one of them. I know, that's head. why people donate them. <laughs> Same with this, um, I wanna say this is Indiana glass. The like the, the, it's like tree trunk pattern. That can be good. Oh, but three is a hard sell. So I can leave those behind. I can do it. I can leave them behind. Hey, you, you passed breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh wait, you have breakfast at Tiffany's every morning. Oh, what else we got over there? Anything exciting? This is a cute little rooster watering can. Houseware, house, house and wear. It's $5.99, we're gonna leave him. Ooh, are these temptations? No, they're worldwide products. Boy, fooled me there for a second. Thought they might be. It's a pretty, that is a, that can't be for dip. That, that is an awfully deep dip. That's gotta be. Nope, I thought maybe it was a cake plate. It's not, cause that's definitely the underside. Holy moly, that's some deep, that's some deep dippage there.
Just found a little Made in USA vintage server. It says number 370. I like this piece for $3.99. I see something that's very similar to something that I picked up the other day. Now this one isn't quite as old, but it's definitely of that same theme with the little, the cards and the dice and the slot machine. This one's $1.99. I'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, there's some 60s colors. It's a, I don't know what that's supposed to hold, little squares of something, but wow, those colors, they got me. What? Some Walking Dead soap on a rope. <laughs> Come on, gotta have it. I cannot believe you passed these by. That is, I have no words. <laughs> Ears on a rope. Can I lend you an ear? You may uh, swing those around your neck. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> this piece of art up here, that's the, the Lone Cypress in Monterey. It's the most photographed tree in the world. Sadly, it's, it's going to be gone. It's holding on by a thread, and they keep trying to support it and brace it. And, but I think it's going to be gone one of these days soon interesting fang tang i can't read who that is and nothing on the back to tell me anything it's an interesting piece of art art is so subjective you know it's we can all look through the art and be attracted to something different like art is such an emotional purchase it's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most in my new house is getting my art put up. Because I love the art that I've collected over the years. And at the last house, I never got to put it up. So now, I'm getting to that point again. Oh, everything's going to fall. I recognize this artist. And I, I recognize it, but I can't tell you who the name is. And it's covered up. Hmm. It's a very specific style that they do. I've got enough big art to deal with right now. Ooh, we found a kind of a lenticular Scottish bagpipe player guy. Don't find that every day now, do you? I don't. <laughs> kind of scanning through the furniture. Not that we have room for any furniture. I always skim right by these electronics because there's just nothing there that excites me. Look over here. Get to the lamps. Mm. Not much there. Ooh, except that one. I'm gonna take a closer look. I feel like I need to find some soft stuff to cushion some of this glass that I got in here. And I found hedgehogs. <laughs> it's a hedgehog. I think it's a bamboo baby blanket. It's really cute. I'm looking to see if it has a maker. It's five bucks. That's one thing my oldest daughter taught me about was um, the bamboo products for babies. It's swaddle club, swaddle designs, even show, oh, so it's a swaddle blanket. I'm gonna look up what that goes for. Yeah, it's a seven to ten dollar blanket and it's five here, so can't do that. Although I do, <laughs> I really like it. I'm trying to figure out like, what could I do with that? Because I really like it, but no going to leave it. See if we can find anything else that can kind of help cushion things if they don't have paper, which it's highly likely they might not here. They call this aisle just like the fabrics, so you never know what you're going to find hidden here in the fabrics, so I kind of always give it a look through and see if there's anything interesting and then these are kids linens and this is where you would find like crocheted baby blankets but nothing today I found their little Christmas section she's kind of sweet we don't need her though that, is that it's a very cheaply done tray I like this snowman guy who does you you don't have a name. So sad when a snowman doesn't have a name. 
All right, let's see. They put all their Christmas mugs over here. But I'm really not in the mood to be shopping for Christmas mugs right now, so that's an easy pass. But I do like this guy. Kind of matches that coaster I got the other day. But just one plate doesn't do me a whole lot of good. So, yep, nothing else here that I see. He just found me some little, I don't know, are they like soup cups or? I don't know. Just little, Ooh, like maybe, or like little dessert bowls. $3.99 for four of them. Yeah, I'll take those. All right, one more side of Christmas. This is, oh, this is what we heard breaking earlier. <laughs> Oops, we heard that go down. Did you find a big old basket over there? I don't think I've ever seen that thick of a leaf. I know, it's really, yeah, it's almost, there's a name for that. Well, I mean, there's a name for everything, but I mean, like, <laughs> I, I'm trying to think what it is, because I've, I've heard of it before, but it's not coming to me. My brain is, oh, I love this. How cute is he? Oh, I gotta have him. His little friend let it snow, but he's not nearly as exciting. So we can leave him. Oh, I didn't mean to toss you down. I'm sorry, little guy. Those are cute for Halloween. Cute for Halloween. I like the bird. I like the little believe bird. Oh, so he would be 50 cents because he's green and green is half price. I'm going to get the believe bird. <laughs> Just what everybody needs, some dead poinsettias. It's so lifelike. Because that's what it would be like in my house if I got the real ones. <laughs> little a holiday identity crisis. <laughs> okay, it's the Velveteen Rabbit, but honestly, a bunny in a stocking just uh, is like confusion. But who knows, this thing might be worth like a million dollars. I should probably look it up. He is cute. All right, let's look him up. Well, apparently little Velveteen Rabbit is highly desirable and uh, sells for about 40 bucks. So we're gonna get you. All right, let's see what we got in the little art. Nothing's really popping at me except maybe this little scene right here. It's nothing too high dollar, but it is a green tag, so it's half price. And it's got this really cute, like a Warren Kimball almost. It's Steve. Steve something. Oh my goodness, that's teeny, teeny, tiny print. You know what? I'm gonna get it for $2.50 and figure it out later. You know, I don't I don't think I'm alone when I say that I uh, rather uh, feel this way a lot of times. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a necessary evil that we have to do. Um, it is vintage, this is the 1980s piece for $3.99. It's dated way down there in the corner. $19.89. I'm gonna pick that up. And yeah, it is for sure. I would say I do my, my thrifting squats and I get my steps in. I get plenty of exercise with my thrifting. These are heavy. I cast iron bird frames. They're kind of cool. Not sure quite how I feel about those. I don't think I'm gonna get them because they're so heavy, but they were pretty neat. And we have some kissing. Well, one's a panda. Are they both panda bears? They both don't look like panda bears. That's a little odd. Almost looks like one of those carnival prize pictures. I'll leave that for somebody else. I liked it though. Just like I like the the dream. Dream glitter. I, I I like that. I like I like contained glitter. Contained glitter is good. If that glitter ever escapes from there, though, oh doggies, that is not gonna be pretty. We got some pears and some grapes and little shadow boxes. I like those. We're not gonna get them, but I like them. Oh, I love this. You know what? I'm grabbing this. All right, I think this is about my last row that I haven't gone down yet. Check out a couple things. Tender Heart, what does that say? Tender Heart. Tender Heart, what? Tender Heart. I can't read it. It's 2004. 
It's nothing that exciting. I just am gonna have to like look it up when I get home what that tender heart thing is. Okay. Anything exciting in the plates? I don't think so. How did that fairy make it all the way over here already? She was on a completely different aisle. And then there's artichokes. Farmer's market vegetables. I wonder if they're all the same or if there's different, different veggies in there or if they're all artichokes. I don't know. All right, I don't need to find out, but there's another piece of that Syracuse. But yeah, one little plate isn't really gonna serve me well. So I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna peek around for any more. Oop, I did find another piece of the Franciscan Ivy. Looks like it is maybe 99 cents. I am gonna pick that up. Well, I found a creamer and sugar in the Shenango for 99 cents each. And I came down here and look, there's the plates. One, two, three, four, five. So, okay, this is that like stacked plates thing again. Let me see how many are here. So there's six, 14, there's 18. 18 of them and it's one, two, three, four times 4.99 for the plates. And then there's two platters. And then I don't know why I said Shenango. They are Syracuse, China. They are restaurant wear. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something I almost never do when I am picking up a bunch of plates. Tiffany's gonna put me on restriction. She's over here being all good, not filling up her cart too much. Me, I'm being ridiculous. All right, time to go check out with my very, very, very full cart. Let's go see what damage we did.
Okay. Why did you let me get all those plates, Tiffany? I didn't do it. It was all you. Yeah, I found a few for you, but this wasn't my fault. What? What is wrong with my head right now? They all match. They were great. They're great plates. They're great dishes, but... Oh my gosh. Um... 50 of them, though. <laughs> we got we got a few things back there. I feel really good about everything I got. You feel yeah, good about what I you do. got? This, this store is really good. It's really good. It is. I can't believe we didn't run into any other reset. Well, we did. There was one. There was one from the conference here. Um, but, I mean, this is the closest Goodwill to the conference site. And... But they're in Vegas. Nobody else was here shopping. They're well, doing Vegas stuff. Perhaps. She, she makes a good point. All right. We're headed out. It's been a long day. Can't wait to put my feet up tonight. And uh, you feel the same? I do. Yeah. So with that, go be profitable. And make, make it, it fun. fun. <laughs>